Hello everybody, welcome back to An Idiot Aboard. I'm Danny, your idiot. I've got another board. What are we going to use it for today? Well, just reaches over and grabs it. We're going to be making a holder for this. It's my Craftsman reciprocating saw. Fits with my other Craftsman V20 batteries. Um, it's not a tool I use a lot, but it is a tool that gets in the way a lot. So, I want it up there, out of the way, where I can't trip over it every five minutes. Let's see how we get on. So here's the plan of attack. This is the board that I showed you earlier, at the very beginning of the video. I'm going to cut this to about yay long. It comes to the edge of the handle. I'm going to cut it about yay long, and then take another piece of it, transfer that onto here, and try and shape it so that it fits in here and holds this quite snugly. Okay, and then maybe another couple of things there, maybe a dowel or something there, and there just to help support the weight. And then whack a French cleat on it. There's my 45, chamfered down so no dust gets in behind. And whack it on there. You'll notice that my French cleat has got a little bit of a an edge here that where I've taken the pointy part off where the 45 degree cut is made. That's because when you place it up here, if there's any dust gets in there, I can just stop it from jamming so that it goes down and sits fully in position. If there was dust in there, it'd kind of like maybe be up, isn't it? It wouldn't be stable. So by cutting it like that, I can do that. And every now and then I can just whack a brush or an air hose in there and blow it clean. I also do that on here too on the edges, just to take the edge off a bit. So, what I've done is from the edge of the board here, measured down to there, and once that's flush-ish there, I've gone to 14 inches to make my line. So that I've got enough room to put a dowel here, nice and snug, here nice and snug, and then the shaped handle here should hold everything in place without it tipping and being all wibbly-wobbly. Um, so, Let's take this piece of wood over to the mitre saw over there. And yes, I will be clearing some space, don't worry. Um, and get it cut down to size. Forgot to film it, so here's a dramatic reconstruction. Ah! Cut. I almost made an error. Almost. Um, I cut and traced that to form the inside shape of the handle and thought, yeah, that'll do. Cut that out, stick it in here on, well, stick it on there so that it hangs on that. But it needs to be a damn sight thicker than just one, wouldn't it? So we've cut another one to put it on. That should give me enough depth that it holds the handle nicely. You see how that comes up there. So what I've now got to work out, I don't know if I've got the right glue here or not. Um, but I'm going to join these together and I'm going to clamp it to a little desk I've got over there once they join, once the glue's dry and then I'm going to try and jigsaw the two of them at the same time fingers crossed that it works so I thought sod the glue let's put some screws in it but first let's tighten up the drill so the bit doesn't slip moron so we have three lovely holes, and now we're gonna count the sink, because we want it to look nice. Don't want the screw sticking out, we want them to be as flush as possible. Not too deep, but deep enough. Also what she said. Come back. Blimey, what a racket. Stop stealing my bits, you. Okay, there it is. Two bits, nicely held together. Now what we've got to do is cut round that outline. And as long as I keep my jigsaw straight, we should have a nice 
little bit to hang my reciprocating saw on. <laughs> Should have. Let's see how we get on. So I've got it dangling here off the edge of this makeshift uh, board. It's not held on by duct tape. That's just to cover the little gap in between the two cabinets. <laughs> I'm not that much of an idiot that I would need duct tape just to hold a, a shelf down. But this is a, a board I made specifically for this. So we're going to cut round with the jigsaw. Just going to decide which jigsaw do I use. My old black and decker uh, corded. Or my nice craftsman. Are you listening, craftsman? Craftsman. Which is hanging up on my new French cleat wall. I'm going to go craftsman. Now, I'm not going to film me using the jigsaw. Um, there are two reasons for that. One, um, I don't want to suck. No, no. Uh, one is, I need both hands. And I can't hold the camera. And do the jigsaw at the same time. I need both hands just to make sure I'm, I'm going where I need to be going. And second, um, I don't want to suck on camera. No. Uh, second is, it's just going to be awkward. I, I don't have a camera holder. I'm going to have to build one. One that's flexible enough to move around the space I've got. Um, but as yet, I don't have it. I can't just balance my phone because that's what all of this is filmed on. I can't just balance my phone on something and hope that it stays there or you know, hope that it doesn't fall down and crack worse than the screen already is cracked. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit when it's hopefully nicely cut and I can go, ah, look how good I am. So I got as close as I could with the jigsaw, <clears throat> but I wasn't quite close enough all the way around. Um, so I'm going to have to try and sand some of it out with 60 grit. Um, I know I'm a bit far from some of the lines, but this is where I would really appreciate a bandsaw if you're, you know, offering one for free. <laughs> no, I don't have the money for that kind of thing right now. So we're just going to have to do the best we can. I shall cut this out, maybe chisel it out. We'll see how we get on. I'll get back to you in a bit. So that didn't work. So I've got to come up with another way of doing it. And I think I'm going to see what my dowel situation is. And we're going to just go 100% dowels. See how we go from there. So as we know, the dowels, hang on, start. So like I said, the dowels, too small, not long enough to sit in here so what I've done is you can see I've marked this up and you're thinking Danny what the hell are those little squares and crosses in there well I'm going to fit in you around a second I'm going to fit these these are off cuts um, that I took earlier and I've cut them to size this one goes here near the trigger this one goes here and I've marked them all I know exactly where to drill to match them up I'm going to drill through from the back well I'm going to drill a guide hole here now and there, and then just bush. Same here. Again, I'm not using glue because these are not going to be permanent because eventually as I get better and better, I'll make improvements as we go. So they'll sit there like so, and then the handle will slip over them. I'm not going to put it on there now because, well, maybe I can get away with it. And bosh, and they should be large enough to hold there. And then at the other end, I'm still going to put dowels into place there as well. That's the plan. So we move forward. <laughs> so I need to be as accurate as I can be with these. So I'm going to punch a little hole first, just to get the drill started um, without it wandering. Because sometimes a drill bit can wander, especially on wood that's a little bit shiny and pre-finished like this old chunk. So a couple of holes banged in there. So now my drill bit won't wander and I'll do the same on these and we should match up the holes quite nicely so i don't know if it shows up well here let me if i change the angle a bit i've traced the outline of the inside of the handle there that bit so i've traced it out and what we're going to do is measure precise well roughly how big our piece of wood is so we need about what's that three and three quarters by three inches. And there's the smallest, so the mark there. Yeah, so we'll do three by three, three and a half by three, and then I'll cut it down. What I'll use is the off cut of this piece. I'll cut a piece like across about three and a half inches deep, and then I can slowly shape it to this, hopefully. This is where I wish I had a Dremel. So there it is, the finished French cleat holder for my reciprocating saw. Not what I, not what I planned initially because I wanted my nice hand cut molded 
piece of wood in there to fit the inside of the handle snugly. Didn't work out, don't have the tools for it yet, but uh, not bad, not bad at all, even if I do say so myself. Now, I got some old bits of metal that I'd use to brace here and here, just to help hold the weight a little bit more. I may even be able to put a slightly longer dowel in there just to give it another point of contact. But I think that'll be overkill. Yeah. Mm. Free product placement. Mm. Uh, <laughs> anybody listening, Craftsman? So there we go. I've uh, chucked my hands, my uh, random orbital sander up on the shelf for the batteries because I've got batteries are all they're all charging except for the two that are left in the drill and the impact driver. So I figured might as well get that up out the way for now. Got to put my jigsaw back. Um, Fat a lot of good that was today. Anyway. That's it for today, guys. So I'll see you next time, hopefully. Hope you found this interesting. Probably not. Anyway, we'll catch you later. Bye.